So now that we've done all the polypaint work, this part's going to be super easy. All we got to do is go over here to polygroup it, and there's two options. We'll start first with this polygroup it from paint. So again, we have colorize turned on, we've RGB painted in these areas where we have lines, and now when you click on this, and then you turn on polyframe here, and let's go ahead and turn off the line option in polyframe. You're going to see when I turn colorize on and off, wherever I had poly painted on my mesh, it put a polygroup line right down the middle of that polypaint. And it doesn't, re it doesn't matter the thickness of the line, you can see where we painted in a really thick line here, it put a line right down the middle, and where I painted a really thin line here, it put a line again right down the middle. You're going to notice it didn't put a line around these objects here because there's no real border there. If I had painted white inside the star and inside the arrow here, it would have found a border here and put a polygroup line around it, but since there isn't, it went ahead and just ignored those. Now we had X symmetry turned on, but you're going to see we have a polygroup over here and a polygroup over here. Those are separate. If you want this to be symmetrical, just do a geometry, modify topology, just do a quick mirror and weld, and now both sides will be the exact same in the exact same polygroup here. Let's go ahead and take this subtool here and we'll duplicate it off, and we'll go ahead and turn off the eyeball for our original. And now with colorize turned on, we're going to try this polygroup it with border option. And now you're going to see what it does when I toggle this paintbrush on and off. It went ahead and did the exact same thing. It gave me polygroups on both sides. And even though I had X symmetry turned on, these are separate polygroups over here. But what it did was wherever we painted in black, it went ahead and isolated those as its own polygroup as well. So you can control shift click the painted polygroup border here. You can control shift drag to invert that. And now you just have your panel lines here. If you want different polygroups, all you got to do is go over here to the polygroup submenu, do an auto groups, and anything that's not vert welded will get a brand new polygroup in here. And you can mix and match these however you want. So if you want these two sides to be the same, hold down control shift, isolate this polygroup, control shift drag, control shift tap this polygroup, control shift drag again, hit control W to group mask clear masks, and now those are both the exact same. So you can organize your polygroups however you'd like. In fact, if you'd like to make all of these the same. Hold down Control Shift Isolate this one, grab this one, grab this one, Control Shift Drag, Control W, and now those are all one polygroup. And you're also going to notice if we go back up to our subtool menu and we turn on Colorize. So again, it put a polygroup line and included the border this time, and it also included these shapes that we masked out. Anywhere we painted black gets its own polygroup, so the thinness and the shapes do matter in this case. So where we painted thin, we get a thin polygroup. Where we painted thick, we get a thick polygroup. And where we just masked in shapes and filled, we get those as a polygroup as well.